The Venture Project is the first driverless car project to start in the UK. It's a three year research and development project based in the southwest of England. Today we're conducting trial three of the Venture Project. We're looking at interactions between the autonomous vehicle and road users such as cyclists, pedestrians. The main objective is to find out about how people react to sitting in or watching an autonomous vehicle interacting with these other road users and also we're interested in observing the technology working itself. So it's much more looking at the what we call the human factors or the social impact. The pedestrians and cyclists are observing those scenarios and they're rating their trust in the autonomous vehicle. We also have a simulator and the participants can get inside the vehicle um, and they experience the same scenarios um, in a simulated environment that they experience outside. Trials like today are quite important because they bring together participants who, who don't have all the parts of the puzzle themselves. So for example, we put our sensors on the bus, but we don't own the bus. And in this particular part of Trial 3, the driverless car, the Wildcat, drives up behind the bus. The radar on the front of the bus tells the Wildcat that the road isn't clear, always clear, and it can proceed to overtake. There are clearly a number of impacts that this project will have at the national and international level in the adoption of this technology, but also locally and in this region from both an industry point of view and also an education point of view. Well, I think Ventura really defines why Bristol and Bath is good at innovation because it's about collaboration, it's about research and innovation, and it's about bringing everybody together to work and jointly solve problems between universities to major corporates to small startups. The tech cluster in Bristol and Bath is ideally suited to, to cabs and driverless cars and what the uh, Bristol Robotics Lab is doing is globally significant to the way we're going to be moving around in cities in the future.